Venezuelan gangs are crossing in Texas. It's September 9th, 2024, and these are your headlines. Four members of a violent Venezuelan gang were encountered at the Texas-Mexico border and released by the Biden-Harris administration. Well, they've now been arrested in Colorado. U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement officials have confirmed to Fox News correspondent Bill Malugin that four known and suspected members of the Venezuelan gang Tren de Aragua have been arrested in connection to a shooting and attempted murder in Aurora, Colorado. Most of the Tren de Aragua gang members first crossed into the country in 2022 and 2023 through Texas and were released by the Biden-Harris administration. The gang is best known for its involvement in sex trafficking young girls and women and exploiting other Venezuelans. Texas Department of Public Safety spokesman Chris Olivares said that although the gang may only account for a small percentage of crimes, they should not be here in the first place. Recently, it was reported that Dallas police have confirmed that the Venezuelan gang has settled in North Texas and is committing heinous crimes within the community. The gang is known for taking over an apartment complex in Aurora beginning in late 2023. They are also in Chicago, where members have been linked to narcotics and weapons charges. Texas officials have spent over $221 million to transport tens of thousands of illegal aliens to Democrat-run cities far away from the southern border. A Public Information Act request by the Washington Examiner to the Texas Division of Emergency Management revealed that the money was paid out in over 750 payments to transportation companies since those operations kicked off in 2022. Taxpayers, of course, bore the most significant portion of the cost, 99%. Private donors picked up the remaining 1%, which totaled about $460,000. Governor Greg Abbott's office estimated in August that Operation Lone Star had bussed over 12,500 illegal aliens to Washington, D.C. since April of 2022, 45,900 to New York City since August 22, 36,900 to Chicago since August of 22, 3,400 to Philadelphia since November of 2022, 19,200 to Denver since May of 2023, and 1,500 to Los Angeles since June of 2023. Tarrant County Republican Party Chairman Bo French said Texas should pivot on the strategy, saying let's load them on buses and take them back across the border. That's an interesting idea. New York City Mayor Eric Adams has been a vocal opponent of Abbott's busing policies, warning that the Big Apple cannot house more than 210,000 illegal aliens that have arrived from the southern border since 2022. What are the important things out there in Texas politics and Texas news that matter to you and what can you do about it? That's what we want to bring you with the Luke Messia show on a weekly basis for 20 to 30 minutes. That way you can get the information and go do something for the rest of your week. I look forward to coming to you every Wednesday. The Republican Party of Texas has announced that Representative Beth Van Dyne will serve as victory chair for the party's efforts ahead of the November election. The party stated that their victory effort will, quote, provide critical support in the final 60 days of the campaign to ensure President Donald Trump, Senator Ted Cruz, and all Republicans down the ballot are elected. Republican Party of Texas Chairman Abraham George said that the reckless policies of Kamala Harris and Colin Allred, who's running against Ted Cruz, are being felt by Texans daily, with recent polls showing 77 percent of Texans are struggling with the cost of groceries. He said he's excited to have Congresswoman Van Dyne leading their strong Republican ticket to victory in November. Now, before being elected to Congress in 2020, Van Dyne served in the Trump administration as part of the Department of Housing and Urban Development, previously held office as the mayor of Irving. She said that this is our time to stand up, fight back, and reelect President Trump and Senator Cruz so we can return to policies that protect our nation, grow our economy, and deliver greater prosperity for all families. Van Dyne replaces Alexandra Mueller, who stepped down from the position after being appointed to the Houston Metro Board, and she follows State Senator Brandon Creighton, who led the victory effort in 2022. For more of today's stories, go to texasscorecard.com.